Hello everyone, Treeks here and welcome back to F0X plus the F0X expansion kit. After a little bit of a sidestep in the previous episode, part 8 was all about death race and create machine, which was uh, hereby therefore covered. <laughs> we are now going to return to the main gist of this project, namely clearing off Grand Prix race. Death race is pretty fun as a mode, however coverage wise not a very big one. <laughs> Half an episode was enough in order to get rid of that in the project. But today we are going to return to standard mode. We made a little bit of a start of it already in the previous episodes because of needing to unlock the Joker Cup. So standard is uh, pretty much already halfway done. <laughs> the Jack till the King Cup is covered. And all in order to unlock the Joker Cup. The very cup we are going to do today. Because that is still the fourth cup in this game officially. <laughs> So we're going to take that one on, on standard, in order to continue with our Grand Prix coverage. We still only have three lines of racers, the final two need to be unlocked later it seems. However, there are still plenty of characters we have not picked yet, so... And like I always do in Let's Plays like these, I'd like to cover at least every single character in the game. Who are we going to see today? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's go for... Start number four, the Iron Tiger. Also a pretty well balanced out machine, if I do say so myself. <laughs> the Iron Tiger is actually driven by Baba, who's, um, let's just say, very eccentric. <laughs> but most of all, he's actually a part of the F-Zero Academy. He's the kind of guy that actually um, was born and raised in order to become an F-Zero racer. And he's the representative of the Academy in order to show off that they are good enough in order to produce F-Zero pilots. <laughs> that is basically his deal. But enough about the character, let's go do some more Rainbow Road. Bye! <laughs> okay, could have been better at this jump, but still. At least now we're in the middle of the pack, therefore we can actually do some damage. <laughs> oh, poor Stuart. Why do I have the feeling he's the character I actually killed the most so far in this project? <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh, why is destroying machines so much fun in this game? <laughs> Definitely of all the additions F-Zero got in comparison to the first F-Zero game, I think the ability to destroy other machines is by far the best one. <laughs> of course, riding around in 3D, an awesome uh, looking track because of it. That's also really fun. Nothing beats a good old punch. <laughs> Okay, let's use this ramp in order to high speed ourselves into a couple of racers, hopefully. <laughs> no, missed them all. However, there's still plenty of people in front of us, so... <laughs> also behind us. There goes Billy. <laughs> and John. <laughs> okay, James is a little bit too risky, so let's leave him alone. Dr. Clash. Are you going to be my next victim? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Roger. Antonio and Goro. See if we can get all of these guys. Okay, Miss Roger. Antonio. No, wait, I've got an idea. Let's break and spin. <laughs> Bye, Goro. <laughs> awesome. That makes 10 stars. Can get Michael and Roger. Oh, got Roger at least. <laughs> he really went flying. <laughs> Poor guy. It seems Michael is going to be my final victim. Bye! <laughs> Just like I explained last time, the most awesome way to actually kill someone. Push them off the edge without immediately destroying them. Especially that delay of getting the star, that's actually way too hilarious. <laughs> so, let's destroy ourselves at the end of the race as well. Because apparently this is going to become a destruction race. And you thought the death race was in the previous episode. Well, look at what we're doing today. <laughs> James and Antonio seem to be the lucky ones. But Devil's Force 3 might actually change that up. This is a lot less of a um, destruction course because of it being a lot shorter. Let's see how far we can get. Let's try to make this Joker Cup on standard. 
the cup where I'm going to try to get as many stars as possible without losing a race. <laughs> Let's see how far we can get. There's Black Shadow, Super Arrow, second try. <laughs> Jody. And John. Ah, oh, two of the Federation uh, people right beside each other. <laughs> Falcon, the new machine. <laughs> There's Neon. John. Okay, John got lucky. <laughs> However, I can try again. There's Nielsen. Still aiming for John. <laughs> and Beastman, of course. <laughs> um, John seems to be a slippery eel so far. <laughs> I think he's earned himself the right to stay alive because like I said I also like to try to win every single race go for stars without losing the race and so far I'm losing this race so <laughs> can't really permit myself to start hunting for more people go <laughs> sorry Antonio <laughs> I was just trying to pass off on all of you people <laughs> but it seems I started racing just in time. Samurai Goro was still passed in the end. So, we finish off this race with not a whole lot of stars. But like I said, uh, Devil's Force 3 is not really suited for doing a lot of damage. Space Plant, however, is a lot longer. So perhaps here we can do some more damage. Let's go above 10 stars again. Of course, starting off with Goro, the guy who almost beat me in the previous track. <laughs> now for the rest. Here's John again. The guy who actually escaped me last time. <laughs> Beastman. Also dying in a funny way. <laughs> Nielsen. The cylinders are probably the least suited parts to actually do some uh, killing. This obviously applies to all cylinders. Cylinders are just not meant for destroying machines. <laughs> way too risky. And also way too hard to actually aim for your rifles. Because most of the time you can't even see where they are. <laughs> Let's go over the high jump in order to crank up some speed. Awesome spin attack. Okay, not really what I wanted. <laughs> I was aiming for you. Akuto man. Here's John again. <laughs> and now finally got you. <laughs> Poor guy. The computer players should learn. Whenever racing against me, you should not come near me. <laughs> There's more people we can actually still get. It is still unfortunate the cylinders actually in this track, making it extra difficult to start going for people. Let's first make sure I don't get too far behind these guys. Oh, the sun fell off the track. <laughs> I saw somebody actually missing the jump. <laughs> Bye, Roger. <laughs> he was in first place for a moment. <laughs> and Michael. Looks like you're going to be the final one. Once again, reaching 10 stars. Awesome. Now, let's go finish off this race. We're in first place, so... Let's make sure that stays that way. Not be a problem. I am wrecking up a lot of lives this way. <laughs> Since this is standard, I actually started off with four extra lives. And already I have seven. <laughs> but there we go, first place. Also made sure I actually destroy myself after the end of the race. That's the least I can do after all of the destruction I've caused. <laughs> also make sure I destroy myself. But for now, Blood Falcon actually going up 12 places in the standings. Perhaps I can make sure he's going to go down a couple. <laughs> The guy who starts right beside me is, of course, my first victim. If I'm able to catch up with him. Or is Black Shadow going to be the first? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Stupid hill. <laughs> okay, EAD. Missed everyone. <laughs> Bio Rex. Oh, missed him. Not too sure who I hit there. <laughs> One of the arrows it looks like. Here's Drek. John's already blinking. Let's do Leon first. <laughs> Here goes John. This arrow is also blinking. 
not anymore, of course, after the pit area. Let's try to get her again. Yeah, there we go. Stuart. Give her a chance. Pico and James, both of them. <laughs> Although I seem to have missed Pico. Soda. Well, let's make sure we don't lose too much energy. <laughs> Try to go for the pit area first. And I'm three seconds behind the leader, so also need to keep that in account. Billy. Uh oh. <laughs> Dangerous wreckage. <laughs> right, let's try to go for the leader. Don't really have too much energy, so can't really take too much risk. Let's just go for this group. Antonio and Goro. Brotherly together. <laughs> You would always think they are friends, but we all know better. <laughs> so, here we have another track with a lot of stars. 14 this time. And 14 is also the number of people who are going to finish the race, it seems. We are going to get well over 60 stars this way. It seems that this is still going to be a good day to race. <laughs> and it looks like... Yeah, there's one person with zero points, Mrs. Arrow. Apparently the only one I got every single track. <laughs> Let's try to keep that up. Port Town 2 is definitely also a very well suited track to do some ramming. In fact, here in the Joker Cup I think only Devil's Forest 3 is not suited for actually doing some death racing. <laughs> All of the other ones definitely are. And I think Big Hands is even the best one, so the best is yet to come. <laughs> I'm not too sure who I all got in here, but four people apparently already. <laughs> oh, and there goes number five on its own. Goes Billy again. Ah, dang it. Why are you escaping me, Arrow? You are definitely my number one on the list. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> go and Shio. Second lap, 17th place. Four seconds behind the leader. Let's not go too slowly anymore. Oh, John. Don't you dare. <laughs> Come on. No drag, you too. <laughs> Apparently he's allowed to live. For now. Come on. <laughs> Still four seconds behind the leader, so... Now let's start boosting. Really need to catch up with the leader now. Come on. Be nice if somebody dies in the meantime. <laughs> Two seconds. No. Bad turn. <laughs> Lock Falcon, Antonio and Goro. If I can get the chance to get one of them. Nope. Come on, Goro. Okay, you're allowed to live. <laughs> I'll just go for the victory for now. We've got another 10 stars, so... We still did pretty well, even though I was aiming for more in a track like this. This is going to be our final stand. Mrs. Arrow still at zero points. And I'm at 500, so... Still on schedule. Now let's move on to the track which I think is the best one to actually do a death race in a regular Grand Prix. <laughs> Allow me to show you off why the length of this track is so well suited in order to destroy a lot of machines. Goro, you're up first, of course. Or John. Depends on who's stupid enough to stay beside me for long enough. <laughs> Especially in this part, because of having no guide rails, this one is definitely very suited to start killing some people. But do be careful you don't kill yourself. <laughs> okay, a much better start, because this time I can get Goro immediately. Guster, yeah. Now for my rubber band rifles. John and Mrs. Arrow. <laughs> Nudge. 
And that was all it took in order to get him off the track. <laughs> okay, now for the best part. Especially these uh, 180 degree turns. These are very suited to um, double tap yourself into a couple of people. No, Nielsen, you're not going to escape me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Jack. Bling. <laughs> Oh, dang it! <laughs> well, that's not matter. We're only at 15 minutes in the video, so... I can already see we are only going to do this cup today. So I can actually fill my time with this track if I want to. <laughs> this one is just way too fun to actually play around with computer players. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been able to um, get everybody off the track here. In theory, that should be possible. I think I saw somebody else do it at some point, but I've not been able to ever do it. Actually uh, create an entire death race out of a Grand Prix. Therefore saying, getting every single machine off the track on big hand. Not talking about death tracks here, because that's a different thing. Computer players actually start falling off the track themselves. <laughs> actually helping them fall off the track and then being able to get every single person off the track and I don't think I've ever been able to do that which is of course very hard to do <laughs> especially since I'm trying to win here so come on get out of the way to go for first place now I think I can't really play around with you people too much anymore <laughs> go. Still be able to catch up with these people. Six seconds is a lot, so... <laughs> Definitely need to start working now. There's an e-body machine, so... But I did miss him. <laughs> Three seconds. Bye, Jody. <laughs> Oh. Back shadow. You're an easy prey because you're such a big machine. <laughs> Next up, Billy and James. No, James, you too. <laughs> Clash. Gotcha. <laughs> he started falling right before exploding. Now to find the two. Roger, Michael. Michael wants to stay alive, it seems, but at least let's try to get Roger. And let's finish this race. Once again, first place. 15 stars. In three attempts. <laughs> yeah, perhaps trying to go for as many stars as possible. Novice is actually better suited. But this was also pretty fun. <laughs> nice change of pace, because of the difficulty still being relatively easy it was a nice change of pace not going for racing but actually going for killing <laughs> it seems the previous part part 8 where I actually covered death race inspired me enough to actually do it here as well and I need to be honest here at first I wasn't planning on doing this but the way actually Rainbow Road turned out I simply rolled into a death race here <laughs> during this Grand Prix and I must admit, also something I do a lot on my own, whenever playing on the lower difficulties. And this is probably the best way to keep yourself entertained. But next time, that is going to change, because the DD1 and DD2 cups, part of the F0X expansion kit. 70 stars, by the way. <laughs> I know that's not a record, you can go even further than that, if you actually um, do it a lot better. But I was just doing it uh, loosely, if you know what I mean, so... Not bad, not bad. But anyway, next time is the DD Cups again. And those usually don't have to go for killing computer players. They're, they are pretty good at doing it themselves. <laughs> my people will erect a statue in my honor. Well done, Baba. You did not just win every single race. But you also knocked down 70 machines during this Grand Prix. <laughs> you 
are the most aggressive player in the field. See you folks next time when we will continue with standards on the expansion kit cups. Thank you for watching this destruction. <laughs> and see you folks next time. Treeks out.